Hey, Maddie, do you like being on camera? Hehe. <laughs> My little girl. Three legged. My little tripod. Anyway, guys. That is my three legged dog, Maddie. Wondering what this is? My new toolbox! Yeah, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna get inside of it and we're gonna look around and do a review. So, uh, pull that handle out. There we go. Okay. Now, I have a lock on it, so I'm going to need the keys. Here's me. Dog again. Hmm, where did I put my keys? Ah, there they are. Right, right here. Right here. For those of you who haven't, who haven't seen my Town channel, I went to um, Myrtle Beach. And I don't know if we can see that or not. But that says... Focus. 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 Anyways. I don't know if you can see it, but this is Ripley's Aquarium. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. But anyways, that's not what this video today is going to be about. This video today is going to be about my Husky 25-gallon mobile toolbox. Okay, let's get in this thing. First thing first. I need to get the lock off right there. That lock, I don't know if you can see it. See that silver right in there. Anyways. You know what? I think we should pull this thing into the light. Okay. This thing probably has about 75 pounds of tools on it. Has a load capacity of 100 pounds. I got it for 54 bucks at, uh, in Ohio at uh, at um, Home Depot. I don't know if you can see it better now, but here's my lock. Now let's get through this bunch of keys. This is the key. Let's see if we can use this one hand. See that, but I just now got my lock off. And my lock is off. They have these really cool, heavy duty latches. And we open it up. Yes, we made these. These are made out of two by sixes. Two of them. To uh, keep all my stuff in place. I don't know if you realize how much, how many tools are in this. Anyways, I'm gonna go over some of the stuff that I keep in my toolbox. Okay, here's my little plastic toolbox. What I keep in here is my deep well sockets. Yes, let's see. You have a 7 8 13 16. I think this one. Oops. No, not that one. That one, you stay on. This one's 9 16. This one's half inch. Oh, yeah, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be over here. This is 11 16. 
this one is a um this one is a uh Hmm. This one is three quarter, I think. Let's check. Let me set you guys down somewhere. You can actually kind of see. Okay, I don't know if you can see or not, but. There we go. Okay. Yep. Three quarter inch. Anyways, three quarter inch. This one right here is five eighths. This one right here, I said is eleven sixteenths. This one I think is like a five sixteenths. I don't know if you see that, but it says five sixteenths. And the next one we got in there is the green one. I went to three ace. And I said nine sixteenths half inch. This one's supposed to be a seven sixteenths. Yeah. Yeah. Seven sixteenths. Anyways. That's all my sock, my deep well sockets. Here's my half inch drive. Uh, extension is my long, long half inch drive extension. Here's my two three eighths inch extensions and my one little tiny quarter inch extension. Anyways, that's everything in this toolbox. I'm gonna go ahead put everything back. Anyways. That's what's in this. Wondering what this is? Ah, half inch drive, baby. Pretty darn big ratchet. Nice and long. Pittsburgh. I have 21 piece. It's a half inch drive, 21 piece, high, high VIZ or VIZ or whatever socket set. It's a 72 tooth bracket. Very nice, very nice. Standard sizes and metric sizes. We have 3 A's, 7 16 half inch, 9 16 5 A's, 11 16 3 quarter inch, 13 16 7 8 and 15 16 for the standard. And for metric, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 15, 17, 19, 22, and 24 millimeters. Here we have my 22 piece wrench set. Sizes for standard quarter inch, 5 16, 3 eighths, 7 16, half inch, 9 16, 5 eighths, 11 16, 3 quarter inch, 13 16, and 7 eighths. On metric, we have 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, and 19 millimeter. That's that. I'm trying to get through this nice and quick. Here's my quarter inch drive, 21 piece socket set. Nice cushiony handle on the ratchet. It's really nice. So sizes on this, we have 13, 16, 7, 30 seconds, quarter inch, 9, 9, 9, 30 second, 9, 30 seconds, 5, 16, 11, 30 seconds, 3 A's, 7, 16, half inch, and 9, 16. For metric sizes, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 millimeter. Here's my different set. Craftsman Evolve set. On all of my uh, on all of my sets, I have a few things missing. 
Like this one has a few missing. I have 730 seconds missing, 17, and 5 eighths missing. Anyways, sizes that come in this are 4, 4, 5, 5, 5.5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, no 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, and 18 for the metric sizes. And then I have a 13 16 Look how tiny that is. 13 16 for the um, SAE, 7 30 seconds, quarter inch, 9 30 seconds, 5 16 11 30 seconds, 3 A's, 7 16 half inch, half inch, 9 16 missing 5 A's, 11 16 this comes with a nice ratchet. This one is half inch drive. Uh, not half inch drive. That one's three eighths. And I have this little screwdriver. I don't know what that back there is for. Probably for like a ratchet like that that you can put on the back. That's how it was when I got it. But anyways, look in there. I have this little three eighths to quarter inch drive adapter and then I have this 3 ace short and a little bit stubby extension that's it for that set okay I'm gonna go ahead get everything put back how it goes that goes in all the way back it goes in right on top of there right right there. This ratchet set goes right in. Just like this. Okay. Then I have this cool little tool caddy. What all do I have in here? I have a mini utility knife. Magnet on a stick. Two adjustable crescent wrenches. I have this Pittsburgh uh, Torx sizes. And this has T9, T10, T15, T20. I also have sizes T27, T30, and T40. And then these are my pliers. My other set of pliers, or vice grips, or whatever you want to call them in your country, or whatever. Cutters. Keep in mind, I bought all this stuff myself. I'm only nine years old. Show, this just goes to show that I like tools, and I like to fix stuff. These are my mini uh, pliers. My uh, mini needle nose pliers. This is my 20 piece, I think, or 21 piece professionals screwdriver kit. And it also comes with some type of like screwdriver thing and it comes with bits. It comes with a T10, S2, S1, PZ3, um, Phillips head. PZ2 Phillips head, PZ1 Phillips head, PZ0 Phillips head. Then we go to quarter inch flat head, then we go to 3 16 flat head, 5 16 flat head, and 8 inch flat head. As for that little rack, and for this rack, we got torque spit sizes T15, T20, T25. PH, O, PH, 1, PH, 5, I meant 2, PH, 3, H, 3, H, 4, H, 5, H, H, 6. Probably all I'm ever going to need, but I have it, and I'll be, I'll be glad I had it if I ever do need it. In here, I have my own rubber mallet. I have my short saw, hacksaw. I have my long hacksaw. I need to get a blade for it. 
Don't get Pittsburgh blades, they're kind of bad. But the rest of their tools are good. Because they always snap their blades. Ball peen hammer, but done by Pittsburgh. Like their ball peen hammers. Get a good whack with them. Uh, this is just my drywall saw. I also use it on quite a bit of different wood. It works really good. And then I have this nail hammer. Nice vintage old one. I've had a lot of, I've put a lot of nails in with this one. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. That's all my toolbox. Get all my pliers and stuff back in. Into my tool caddy. Put my caddy back in. And that will be it for this video. Anyways, I'm going to get the lock back on and we'll finish this video up. Okay. Now let's get this thing. It's like a freaking suitcase. Then you just push it wherever I need it. And I pull it. And I push it back into its spot. Just like that. Anyways, guys, I hope you give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe for more content. Uh, Facebook in the description below. Go check out um, Aaron English channel. Um, that'll do it for this video today. See you guys later.